What's up guys, it's Ryan and you're watching Ryan Vision. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and like the videos for more of them. Uh, you're looking at my 96 ZJ on five and a half inches of lift. It's got the long arms in the front, short arms in the back, and 35 by 1250 Goodyear MTR Kevlars. Uh, in this video, I just wanted to go over the new shock absorbers I just put on. Obviously when I went with more lift, because this was on three and a half inches, um, I went up to five and a half inches, I needed to get new shocks. Well, I went with the uh, Doge Tech 8000 pre-runners. Now, I know what you're thinking already. You're going, man, those things are almost bottomed out. Well, what you got to realize is, and I'm, I'm learning this stuff as I go, what you got to realize is there's a whole difference between up travel and down travel. And the first thing you'll notice about these shocks is this black deal right here that's taken up probably an inch, inch and a half or so of the travel here. That's an integrated bump stop, and this thing actually compresses up to about here, and then it's it gets really hardened, and it becomes a bump stop for the vehicle, which in my situation is absolutely awesome, because before I had these shocks, and even before I had the long arms, I would just stuff these tires all the way up into the wheel wells and grind the crap out of the tires, and now I got these brand new, you know, expensive tires. I don't want to be chewing up on my uh, fender. so. I've got these integrated bump stops now and the thing is these shocks even though they look like they're almost bottomed out it's going to allow my tire to go right up to the fender but stop just before it starts rubbing it's perfect I'm gonna show you I'm gonna flex it out I'm gonna even disconnect the sway bar so you can see it but what you want to take a look at is the size of the body of the shock I guess I should have gone around this side and uh, check out the bar pin eliminators from Iron Rock Off-Road. I've got another video on those. Those are awesome. Basically, they make your mounting point on the bottom more solid. So you can just run a bolt and a sleeve through the bottom instead of the stupid bar pins that make a bunch of uh, clunking noises. And they kind of shift around and move around under stress. These are just way better. So check those out, Iron Rock Off-Road bar pin eliminators. But look at the body of this shock. It's just massive. Okay, and I'll post the the link to the specs on these things. They extend out like 32 inches. Um, I forget how much travel they have, but it's a lot. I'll post the specs in the video. I don't want to uh, misquote anything. But these shocks are awesome. They ride really nice. They kind of have a firm ride to them, but not too firm that you're, you know, uh, bouncing on every bump in the road. They still soak some stuff up, but they are just awesome. They handle really well. And uh, I did them in the rear as well. And in the rear, you can see I've got a little more uh, up travel, just a little bit. And again, the integrated bump stop, it's perfectly dialed in. When I ordered these, I ordered them off the Iron Rock Off-Road website when I got my uh, front long arm kit. And so I didn't even know the measurements. I just ordered them for a six inch lift because I knew it was gonna be five and a half. And when I first looked at these, I almost was going to return them. I even called Iron Rock and made sure I could send them back just because it didn't look like it had enough travel. But I ended up just putting them on and trying them out. And man, I couldn't be happier. They are just dialed in. Um, they fully flex front and rear. And like I said, they keep the tires from rubbing. Um, the other thing you'll notice I got hanging in the back here next to the shock. It actually bolts to the bottom shock bolt and then goes up to where the uh, stock bump stop was located. Those are limiting straps. Um, it's kind of hard to see. Let me grab it so you can see it. Okay, that's a limiting strap. So what happens is when the axle tries to droop all the way down, that limiting strap actually stretches out and catches the axle and doesn't let it go any further. And the reason I'm doing that is because in the back, I was a little scared when I went to a two inch uh, coil spacer here. Right here's a two inch coil spacer with a brand new coil isolator. You can see that there's nothing really below here hanging down. The spring is seated on this perfectly, so I feel good about that. But the lip on that coil spacer is not very big. So what the dialing in the shock and dialing in the limiting strap does is it makes sure that that coil will never come off that coil spacer. Um, I'll show you guys when I flex it out. I've already checked this all out. It is absolutely dialed in that that coil never comes off that coil spacer there's also a coil retainer down on the bottom of the coil spring uh, to keep it from shifting around so this thing is solid it it goes to full droop 
and uh, full compression without any problems no tire rubbing front or rear no coil shifting around nothing falling out it is definitely dialed in so these are great shock absorbers I definitely recommend them you guys should check them out they're not uh, very expensive either you get a lot for your money when you buy these and so I'm gonna disconnect the sway bar right now pull up on this loading dock I'm at and uh, let you guys see how the flex looks and see how those uh, bump stops work all right guys so make sure you watch my other videos because I do a quick review on these disconnects but right now I'm just gonna bump these off I've already pulled the pins out so they just bump off that easily I'll just pull them out of our way for now bump this side off as well pull it out of our way and now we're good to go so I can pull up on this loading dock and show you full flex and show you how the shocks perform travel 
especially if you're using integrated bump stops you just want enough up travel to get your tire up in the wheel well as far as you want it without rubbing basically as far as you can go without rubbing your tires so i couldn't be happier right now uh, the Doge Tech 8000 pre-runner shocks are working great. I'll put the model number in the description in case you're running a similar setup. Again, this is a 96ZJ 5.2 V8. It's on 5.5 inches of lift. Iron Rock off-road long arms in the front with Iron Rock off-road over the knuckle steering in the front. Rubicon Express adjustable short arms in the rear. And five and a half inch 35 inch tires completely dialed in with these shocks no need for original bump stops with this thing anymore just the limiting straps in the rear is the only thing i have in addition to these new shocks so it's working out great definitely recommend them uh, that suspension company has been around for a long time i can remember back when i was in school my older brother putting those on his lower truck so they make them for everything not just off-road but it's an awesome setup definitely recommend them make sure you like the video make sure you subscribe for more see ya